hey y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be sharing with y'all the story time about my sugar daddy i'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into this story time video so let go this took place when i was away at college for a semester i went away at college for a semester and i was 19. yeah i was 19. so i'll give y'all a little backstory about how this ended up how this started before it actually started back then when i was 19 you know i was a little younger than i am now and I was just, you know, spontaneous, a little curious, wanted to see what the world had to offer me. And, you know, I had friends that would be like, girl, you need to talk to somebody older who got that money. You need this, you need that. Only an older guy can give that to you. And they like us young girls and, you know, all this stuff. So I was like, I don't know, that's disgusting to me. I'm not about to date somebody's dad. I don't wanna be seen with you in public. I don't want you trying to touch me, don't kiss me. You know, I just was not into that older man type lifestyle. That just wasn't for me. But however, one day I was um, in the airport cause it was spring break. So I had came home to my hometown for spring break then I was flying back to my school. So as I'm in the airport, this man like is eyeing me down, like an older man, eyeing me down. And I'm like, what you looking at? Mind you, I had on my um, school hoodie. So I look young as hell. I have my hair in a ponytail and my school hoodie. So you know I'm young. You looking at me, you know I'm a kid. Well, he's staring me down or whatever. And I was just like, ew. Like we were going through um, TSA or whatever. And he like made a little joke or whatever cause they had to search me. Like they had to like look in my bag or something. And so he was like, yeah, make sure y'all search her, look in her stuff, like trying to like flirt or whatever. And I was just like, once I made it through security, I was like, whew, don't got to see that man ever again. So I thought, I get to my gate and um, my flight was going from Houston to North Carolina. So I get to my gate or whatever um and lo and behold you know mr creepy is getting on my flight from houston to north carolina so i was just like you know whatever like you know like all right like i didn't think nothing of it i'm standing in line you know waiting to board the plane or whatever he like comes by me and is like you know how are you doing or whatever and so i was like you know hello you know hello you know, like that. Clearly, you see where I'm going, where I'm headed, because I have on my school hoodie. So he was just kind of like having a small talk with me, and I was just like, you know, we weren't really talking about anything. I can't even remember. We weren't really saying anything. It was just like, how are you doing? Whatever, whatever. Then, once they go to board the flight, like once we're all about to board the flight or whatever, they call for first class, because, you know, first class gets seated first. And he grabs his bags, and he goes and gets on first class. So I was like, maybe I don't need to be so standoffish like I thought I did. So I was like, he going to first class. Okay. So he gets on um, first class or whatever. And you know, I wait for, you know, the economy. So I wait for a little economy seating. I get on the flight or whatever. I pass him up on a plane. I get on the plane, I sit down. So now we take flight, we go to North Carolina and it was supposed to be North Carolina to Atlanta was my next stop. I mean, once you get to North Carolina, you can either go wherever you wanna go or you can go to, you know, maybe that's your hometown. Once again, lo and behold, he was going to Atlanta. So yeah, he was like, um, come sit next to me, come sit next to me. And I was like, no, no, no. Mm -mm. I just went back and sat in my seat. We land in Atlanta. I'm downstairs um, at the baggage getting my luggage or whatever. I'm waiting, you know, just waiting for my little bag to come off, you know, I'm chilling. He comes down and he's staring at me again. And I'm just like, this is just kind of like weird because it's like, you know, I'm young. 
and I know you owe. When my bag comes around, I'm reaching to grab my bag. He comes over there and like grabs my bag for me. And he's like, you know I'm not gonna let you leave without getting your number. And I'm like, you ain't 20? Like, is that how you approach girls? Is that how you approach women? So anyways, he was like, yeah, you know I'm not gonna let you leave without getting your number. And I was like, I kind of started thinking. He was wearing a suit. He was in first class and he had on a watch. So I was like, all right, maybe this will be my sugar daddy. Maybe I'll try it out and see where it goes. So we exchanged numbers or whatever. And maybe like a week or so later, you know, we're texting. This is when he started to like, you know, come on a little strong because you know, don't take long for a man to say what he want or whatever. I'm trying to find information about him. I'm like, what's your name? Where are you from? Where do you work? Where do you live? He wasn't really telling me nothing. Let's call him Stewart. I was like, yeah, my name is Stewart. And I'm like, last name? He ain't wanna give me his last name. So I'm like, all right, like, how am I supposed to hang out with you if I don't even know your last name? Like, you a grown man, like, you know? Like, my name's Stewart. I was like, well, what were you doing in Houston? Like, you know, he was like, oh, I'm a scientist. I was working with NASA. You a scientist? A scientist. Okay, all right. You were scientist and you was in Houston for NASA. I was like, that was just a good little, you know, something to make himself look good is what it sounded like. Because, I mean, we was flying Spirit though. We was on Spirit Airlines or whatever. So, you were scientist though? Okay. Um, Immediately, you know, coming at me with extravagant trips per se. He was like, I wanna fly you to LA and we can lay on the beach together and I'll fly you back out, you know, at the end of the weekend, this and that. Me, I was like, you lying. I don't believe that. Like, it just sounds like you lying. We never made it to the LA trip because I'm not about to fly out of town with you. I don't know you. So anyways, he was like, well, let's just take it slow then. Let's take it slow and maybe we'll go on a movie date. He wants to go on a movie date, whatever weekend it was. This is my first time with the whole sugar daddy thing. I ain't never want to be seen with a grown nasty old man out in public, but he wants to go on a date. So I figured since I want to get money from him, I'm gonna have to give a little to get a little. So I felt like, you know, me going on this date with you or whatever, I should get some money. He was like, let's go to the movies on Friday. I was like, all right. So I got me and my roommates together. We went to like the little um, movie shopping area out there. And I was like, y'all, like they, they were gonna go to the movies too. So I was like, y'all, this is my first time meeting up with him since the airport little shindig. Um, watch my back, okay? Watch my back. So we get to the movies or whatever. My friends, like they're watching the same movie. They're going to go watch the same movie as me and him, but he don't know I came there with other friends. Like he ain't know I came there with people. He just think I rode up to the movie theater by myself for a date. But no, I'm always going to have my back watched. I'm going to make sure I'm good. So we get to the movies or whatever. I meet up with him and he's just like looking like an old daddy, looking like somebody daddy. He had on like a sweater, like a crew neck sweater. He had on like slacks, a sweater and slacks and a belt. We head in um, to go up to the movie theater. We were gonna go watch the movie, The Call um, with Holly Berry and you know, Morris Chestnut. And, um, you know, that movie is about the little girl got abducted from the, um, from the mall or whatever. And, you know, the man in the movie was trying to kill her. If you ain't seen The Call, then, yeah, you need to see The Call because I'm about to tell you why. Uh, we sit down to watch the movie. He's just trying to put his arm around me and I'm just like... Get off of me. Like, I'm just here working this is a work for 
for me. But, so the movie's going, the movie's getting good. We're actually sitting on the same row as my friends, my roommates. So I'm looking down there like, y'all, like, save me. Like, you know? Anyways, the movie gets going and stuff, and action is going in the movie, whatever. And he turns and whispers in my ear. I'm gonna do that to you. I'm gonna do that to you. And I was like, the fuck? I was like, what? Like, we're watching the movie and like scary stuff is happening. Like the man's trying to kill the girl or whatever. And he's whispering in my ear, like, I'm gonna do that to you. And this is the first date ever with this person. Like the first time I've seen you in public, in person, since the airport and this is the first thing you're telling me so i was just like sitting there literally like i hope he doesn't follow us home so we leave the movie theater i'm just glad it's over there was no first kiss or anything a few days later he's calling me texting me i want to see you i want to see you this and that you know just all this type of stuff like I want to see this now and i was like no i don't think you know this is going to work or whatever he started texting me like um i'm gonna have to give him a little body before he can give me some little coins or whatever then this man calls me and says i'm gonna chop your body up cut you into pieces and put you in a cooler I think I done got myself into something. I was like, I think I done got myself into something. One day he drove up to my school and was like, I'm out here outside your dorm, where are you at? And I was literally just so scared. Like you've threatened to kill me and now you're saying you're outside my dorm where am I at he was threatening me saying he's gonna wait for me to walk to my classes like literally and I think he was really just crazy because there was never any reason for him to want to kill me like I went to the little movie with you you said some scary shit in the movie about you're gonna do this to me and now you're actually threatening me like with no no remorse like you're telling me what you're exactly gonna do so when he said that i pretty much just hung up the phone blocked his number and completely watched my back for the rest of the semester because he didn't know what school i went to um after that we pretty much didn't speak again he just started acting too crazy for me he was starting to get caught in his lies he was saying he didn't have kids and he did have kids he wouldn't tell me his last name he only was giving me a nickname it was really just getting creepy and scary and i wasn't getting any money out this situation like i thought i would so it was just time for me to back away it was time for me to back away and that's what i did i blocked him never talked to him again never seen him again moved out the state and now I'm safe. All right, y'all. So that wraps up this story time of my sugar daddy experience. What was I thinking? I was really just young and naive. That's basically it. But if you like this story time, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, girl. Let me know what you think about this story time in the comments below. Also, if you've had a sugar daddy experience, let me know how that went. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.